the other incremental aspects, it's not all about the boat. It's not all about the technique and the preparation. It's also the physical attributes. You know, you, you think of um, laser sailing, compare that to moth sailing to, say, 49er sailing. You've got deep experience in all of those. I'm thinking small boat. They're all very physical. They're very different in many ways, too. I mean, you've got to be a total machine to lock in and sail a laser. Compare that, compare that to, say, a moth. What kind of stuff are you um, thinking in terms of physical fitness and uh, further body prep? Well, if I can keep up with you, I'm going to be making a step in the right direction. And you kicked my butt when we went and worked out a couple days ago. Um, the laser to the moth to the 49er, uh, I luckily have not had to sail a laser all that much in my, my life. Um, not to say they're not good boats, but I, I was able to skip right into the 49ers and, and you have to you have to be a brute and be able to be good on your feet on that boat. We have quite a few laser sailors in the moth class and one of the toughest things is to go speed tune with these guys. I mean, they're, they're just physically just can hike harder than should be right and they can lock in and put a hundred yards on you over about five minutes but thankfully five minutes you've traveled so far you'd be off the racetrack on a moth and you get a little break. Um, it's, each boat has a different balance in between the, the strength and the uh, nimbleness of the, the sailor that's yeah. required to succeed. Picking your boat or having the right boat for your kind of set of attributes is kind of key I think. I mean, I've seen a lot of great guys who are in good, I mean, really good sailors that are in kind of the wrong boat for themselves, and you can maybe choose a little smarter. I should, I don't want to say too much on that. I could embarrass myself very quickly. <laughs> well, I want to hear a little bit more about one thing, which is, you know, it's not all about the equipment. It's not even all about you and your physical attributes and your mental components, but it's the people you surround yourself with. And um, you talked a bit about sailing with Jonathan, and Bear has been, you know, close uh, friend and, and you know teammate of yours for a long time. Talk a little bit more about who are the people that help make make you who you are. I think it's basically all my sailing friends. I mean, it, we have such a good relationship with our I, I, our whole group. The whole moth class is great. The Melgis class in the U.S. is great, and nobody succeeds alone. That's it, it. Just doesn't happen. I, if if there is one person that succeeds alone, then I'd, I'd be really impressed to meet him because. Everything's always a team effort. Uh, for me in the moth this year, it was everybody from uh, Australian convert John Harris sailing with me and George Pete a lot. Uh, Anthony Catoon came out and sailed with us a bunch. And the rest of the US class was always there willing to help up. I mean, there was one race where I, I dropped the main sheet, tacking on the starboard tack lay line, and when I was going to be in the lead and I capsized and Brad Funk I think was in third at the time maybe he was in fourth and went to third as he's sailing by me he's yelling at me get that freaking boat up get going what, what are you yeah. doing and like and just having that kind of support behind you among your friends is I think always going to be key to success and I'm very blessed to I feel like I have a lot of good friends that always help help get me there I good. can't do it all by myself that's for sure well, we want to officially make sure you know that Harkin is in your corner. Oh, and, I appreciate uh, that. We really, we really think that um, you've got a lot going on that is so good and so positive, and we just wanted to, to mention that. And I think that's a, a good thing. But you do have a great group. You know, Anthony called me before the Worlds, and uh, we, we, had a, we had a good kind of connect up, and, you know, it's important to, to stay dialed in like this. And so anyway, we just wanted to um, thank you, and this has been really good. You've been generous with information and with your time. and. Um, to have two world titles under your belt is an awesome thing that only a very rare group of people can can enjoy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the hard work is paying off. We just wanted to say that you're the man. Thank you. Awesome. All right, Bar. Thanks. Right. Thanks, Bill.